welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is Zoe and today I'm going to be showing you guys how we created this Euromastix enclosure and there's Tulupa. So first up the background I did make the background I did the same way I make all my rock backgrounds I made a background like sheet of star from the fit and then did my rocks and my ledges and attached them with silicone to keep them in place. For these backgrounds, I did something new. I used a soldering iron to create more texture and to even out the sides. And I love this method. I love how it ended up coming out. So I'm definitely gonna be doing this from now on with all of my backgrounds. So it was just nice to get rid of the styrofoam pieces, just make it nice and smooth. It just made it so much easier to then go ahead and grout. So once I had the styrofoam all set looking how I wanted it, I went ahead and used some grout. It's the same grout I always use, this non-sanded grout in the color Earth from Home Depot. They apparently don't carry Earth anymore, um, like that color in the non-sanded grout they have in the ready like pre-mix sanded grout, which I don't really like using. Um, so yeah, but that's what I used for this background and then you just mix it with water until it's like a watery paint almost and you just paint it on as you see here. Um, very important, make sure you get in all the nooks and crannies. Once I had done several layers of grout, I used some non-toxic acrylic paint to kind of create some more depth and some shadows and some highlights, um, just so it's not just one solid color, it makes it look a little more realistic. And this is what it looked like when I was all done painting it. And then just to protect it, I do a couple layers of this water-based polycrylic in matte. It's a nice clear matte. This protects it from moisture and from chipping. And yeah, just a nice protective layer. So you definitely want to do that before putting it in with an animal. And this is what it looks like once that polycrylic is dry. Hi. So anyway, this part of the video is where I started slacking on filming um, because I was ready to just be done. So I do want to show you guys the step I did after the background. So obviously these ledges are just styrofoam. So there's the other one over there. So I needed something to help prop them up. And yeah, so I didn't want to build these in to the background because I wanted it to be easy to get the background in, um, so I wanted to do them afterwards. So this is just a bunch of blocks of styrofoam that I then grouted and painted and then siliconed to the ledge so that it has nice support. So I did that on that side and I also did one on this side. So I decided the sides were too plain so I wanted to spice it up. So I decided to get these lava rocks for air plant holders. And then the white was driving me nuts, so I decided to paint it. And I started out just doing some little blobs, then again, make it like sponge painting almost. And then I kind of went nuts and painted the whole side. So then I had to go through and seal it with the polycrylic again. But yes, yeah, so I painted the sides to match the background because the white, it was just driving me nuts. It needed something. Okay, for chalupas, we've got a mix of topsoil, play sand, and excavator clay. So it's nice and arid. All set there. So I didn't plan how chalupa was going to get on these ledges. And I was looking to see what I had on hand. And I remembered I had this piece of wood. This is pretty perfect. I mean, it curves up. So you can hide underneath it so it's a hide. So you can climb up here to get to this ledge and climb on this side to get to this ledge. It works out perfectly. And then I got this hide online because I thought it kind of matched her background. It's kind of the right color scheme. I thought I was going to use that to get on fun here, but it's too short. Um, so it's pretty heavy. It's a nice hide. So I figured I'd use it as a basking spot. 
but it feels very rock-like. It's big enough for her to sit on top of it and put it right under the bulb. So, masking rock. Okay, so before we put in a lizard, we have to check our temperatures. I have my uh, laser pointer thermometer here. 117, it's perfect. We'll check again in a little bit, make sure it's not going up too high. So now it's her turn. You don't see Chalupa on this channel too often. Hi Chaloops. It's shedding right now. Look at that tail. Chalupa. Hey. You really just woke her up. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Here you go Chaloops. What do you think? Doing the same thing Tansy does and just sit there. Well, she seems a little more curious than Tansy. She's at least looking around. Oh, we're moving. Okay, that's more than Tansy's done. Yes, yeah, so let's run over the plants. Okay, so again, Chalupa overview. We've got an Arcadia UVB, best UVB. Halogen flood lamp, basking spot, also a hide, another hide back here, another hide over here, hide under here, bunch of succulents, aloe, succulent, succulent, air plant wall one, air plant wall two, air plants came from Etsy, custom made background, and Chalupa who's already going to go and hide. Uh, substrate bioactive mix of topsoil, play sand, and excavator clay. Look, she's basking. Pretty girl. Signage from Cloud Forest designs on Instagram. We're gonna put it right on up here. Ta-da! <laughs> Why are you climbing the wall? I know it's a rock wall, but you have to climb it. Look, it brought you food. Go eat. So, present day Zoe, it has been several days of Chalupa living in her new enclosure. And I have to say, out of the three out of four animals that are in their new enclosures, Craigie's not in his yet, but out of the three that are in theirs, Chalupa has been the most active and most explorative, which I didn't expect because she is like, she's usually so shy and stays hidden, doesn't want to be seen. But since moving in here, she's all over. She literally, this part, like it comes right under her chin. So she'll stick her head up and just watch you. Such a little creep now. But she like, she's all over. She's climbing, she's watching you. So it has been so cool to see the difference in her personality and how she acts since moving into this enclosure. It's been so cool. So if you guys like her enclosure, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the other enclosure videos because there's still three more to go. And as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you for the next video. Bye. You say bye, Chalupa. You're getting sleepy. I you know it's almost bedtime. Lights are going off soon. <laughs>